Well, folks, I'm excited to do this video with you here today. I want to welcome you to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. I am your host, Aaron, and today we're going to be looking at my EDC bag. Now, this will not be a review on the Vertex Gambit. It's what's inside. This is a video on the contents of the bag that goes with me day in, day out when I run over to the office, when I'm going you know, for a couple hours to do some grocery shopping with the family, uh, when I'm doing some traveling. Maybe my wife and I are going to go do an overnight or somewhere and just get away. Whatever, however, this is the backpack that goes with me, and these are the contents that I take with me. So I want to share what I have inside this bag. Some stuff is you know, coming back for a rerun, and some stuff is brand new that I've added over the last year since we last did this video. So this 2018 update I'm really excited for, and I hope it's going to help you out with your own personal EDC system. Some stuff you'll be like, dude, I need that. Some stuff maybe you already have, or you won't need, and you'll be like, yeah, dude, that's, that's for you and not for me. Totally cool, but I want to offer to you the things that I take with me on a daily basis and why I take them with me. So let's go ahead, break this bag down, show you what's inside and the contents of my EDC bag. All right, so again, one of my favorite things, we did the video on this bag, and again, you can check that out over on the YouTube channel under our gear and uh, our, bat, our what is it, packs and pouches playlist, as well as I'll have a link in the description below if I remember to do that. I seem to forget to do that from time to time. But there, there's a hidden compartment in here that's one of the reasons why I love this bag, so that I can do a grab tear away, and there's an option to keep this locked up so that no one can do this you know, without you really messing with it. Um, but I have kind of the, the more emergency side of the EDC system right here. Now up here, I just have a Sauber gear dump uh, pouch. Great guys. Uh, we'll have links in the description below for all the stuff, everything. Thousand links below. All of them help support the channel, helps me make videos just like this. So thank you guys for using the hyperlinks throughout this video if anything stands out to you and it makes it easy for you so that you don't have to try and hunt all of the internet and ask a bunch of questions and wait days for response. Click, click the links, boom, you're there. So this is just a simple pouch, pals webbing attached to the back of this thing here. Uh, open this thing up. This is kind of more of the quote unquote survival kit portion. Uh, I do have um, water purification tablets right here. This will do quite a lot. It's more susceptible than just, uh, or sorry, more resilient against like freezing. You know, I live in the Rocky Mountains, so we get, you know, swinging temperatures. Sometimes I accidentally leave this in the car and I don't want like a survival straw that then I have to throw away, you know, or something like that, or some sort of like fibrous filter. So that's uh, water purification. That'll do quite a lot, those little tablets. Then I have my um, sweet light my fire fire steel this thing's been around for quite a while totally dig this thing it's got an emergency whistle on the back this is the coconut um, handled version totally dig that then i have trioxane big giant pouch of uh, trioxane here this is military grade this will light with just one spark throw from that and burn for several minutes i could use, actually break this up and do about three to four fires easily with that uh, this is an allen wrench toolkit i use for work for some different stuff locking certain doors I apologize in advance uh, if I'm bumping the camera throughout this video, I'm trying to do all this on the tabletop. And then, as always, uh, and I like to keep it in my pouch so that I could throw it on my belt. There have been days, you know, where we're doing a lot of work around the, the building and different things like that, and uh, I bust this guy out constantly, the Gerber uh, center drive. Totally awesome. Love it as, a, I would say, medium-duty, you know, multi-tool, particularly the, the screwdriver bit is epic. Totally dig that. And then um, the, the one-handed deployment on the pliers as well. And then the bit kit is a huge plus as well. And the fact that they're not proprietary bits, but they're just uh, hex head bits is awesome. Now, the second option, I've been bouncing around a lot. I think this is what I'm going to stick with for now. Uh, there is, this is what I was doing for quite a while, is the ITS um, imminent threat solutions, um, medical bags, things are like, I don't know, $18 USA made. They're a great option, particularly if you're just going to throw them in a not Molly compatible bag, which probably most of you for EDC are going to do if you're not going with a bag like this Vertex. Um, so this is a great option for medical kits. Uh, again, links in the description below, but, uh, this is a 511 igniter six and a half by six or something like that bag. Anyway, it's a, a little bit lighter weight coming in about 350 denier, uh, some pals webbing on the front, 
Velcro so I can put my medical pouch. I'm using this as my medical kit because it's PALS compatible, whereas that other one was not. And was, you know, if I unzip this, it just falls out. Um, but it's still got these kind of like slick sticks, can't remember what they call them. But anyway, I can easily snap the bottom, pull the tab on each side, and then remove the pack and go with me, and which would make it just easier to work with a medical situation, an emergency medical situation, than trying to deal with something that's heavily palled to the pack. Um, so I really like that a lot. I have here an Olight in red. This is 90 lumens. This thing is awesome. Uh, so again, just for medical situations is what that's there for. Uh, Boom, throw that open. I'm not gonna go through all the contents. I may do a different video like that later on. But basically I have right there, um, I've got my um, cat's tourniquet, cat tourniquet, totally dig that. Make sure you use the American Rescue brand. That's how you know if it's, uh, um, or Rescue, I can't, North American Rescue, I think is what it is. Um, anyway, I, the links that I offer you on Amazon will be for these. That's how you know if they're genuine or not for the, the tourniquets. And with all medical supplies, guys, know your stuff, particularly when we're talking about like blood clotting material, tourniquets, that type of thing. Don't just, based off of this video, go buy a bunch of this crap, throw it in your kit, and then end up using it on yourself or somebody else and not know what you're doing. Preferably get trained, and if not, then definitely do your research, know how to apply tourniquets, where, what the benefits are, what are the, the dangers of anything like that. So I have one of these um, tourniquets, and again, the, um, what's it called? This is a Gen 3. Um, so I will have the, the right ones, you know, if you're not paying over $30 for those, they're, they're total knockoffs. And then I got, have a full size Israeli bandage. That's what you're going to probably use more often than not, but that's great for like gunshots and that type of stuff. Scissors. I got blood clotting cell ox material in there, um, as well as a bunch of other bandages and different things like that, as well as a little boo-boo kit, you know, for cuts and scrapes and that type of thing. So I have all of that in there. Uh, this pouch has a little divider in the middle. That's all the organization that it offers you, but it's the perfect size to fit inside this concealed and be pals compatible but still easy to remove in about you know two seconds if i need to in that emergency situation moving on to the upper pocket here this is more just the dump pouch um have a lot of different things in here this is just more like personal stuff uh you know got like mints it's always good um gum chapstick hand sanitizer i always make sure that i have really high alcohol content on these guys so that um, I'm able to light fires uh, with that if I had to. Great backup for that. We'll usually have like um, one or two and we're gonna see more food in here, but um, some good high protein, high carb um, uh, food so that if I either you know, lose a meal, I don't have to go spend a ton of money. Um, and if you know worst comes to worst and I gotta hike home with this thing from my office, I have energy for that. These things are awesome. Um, deodorant wipes. Uh, I've used these a couple times, super refreshing and really, really do work. This one's like tea tree. Um, I will probably try to throw a link in the description below. I think I got these from Sprouts. These work though. These are epic. If you need backup deodorant, you know, it's, you, you have a long day, just meeting to meeting to meeting and you can, you know, you just are a sweaty guy or you just, you know, whatever. You just have, have a stench. Um, that, that this thing, these things are epic. So I usually have two of those in there. You know it, Pocket Farkle. Gotta love this little game. Fantastic, about $7 for this little guy here. Uh, great, great game to pass the time. Friends, family, I bust this out all the time when you're just killing time. Great for airport travel if you're with friends and family, whatever. Super quick, easy to learn. The rules are on the actual bottle. Super fun, Farkle. Got some floss and then the key keeper on here. I'm doing some video testing on that thing. Um, anyway, uh, I have not only a Bic lighter, mini Bic lighter there, boom. Uh, Tops emergency whistle, spare house key on a night eyes lockout, and then as well as a backup USB powered flashlight in case all my batteries die for some reason. Uh, this thing will give me on, let's see here if I can do it. On low, I'll annotate it and I totally forget. Um, this will run for a while and then it does have a high beam as well and then micro USB rechargeable So I could charge it off of my battery pack as well. All right, let's look at the wings here uh, Now on one side of the nylon water bottle pouch. I have a life-saving sunglass safety glass um, Item here. This is from hazard Four. this is a hard, you know so, uh, Case here you cannot I mean you got to like stomp on this thing to, to injure the glasses inside. PALS webbing compatible, nice clip as well. So lots of different mounting options. You know, it's not just like a hard case you just throw in a bag. Uh, and then a nice zipper in there, 
fleece lined will fit any size of glasses that I've yet to come across. These are body glove. You guys sometimes ask me, I picked this up for like, I don't know, $3 or not three, $7 at Ross. Um, and that's usually where I get my sunglasses or AV and my aviators are from Ross, just whatever they got on hand, usually body glove if I can. But anyway, $18. This thing is awesome. Been using it for years in different areas and uh, it will ride there. Sometimes I have it in here, just depending on the organization that I'm doing, but it's a great way to keep your glasses secure. Then right underneath that on this wing is more of my organization side because I don't have as big a water bottle. We talked about that again in the video, um, how a water bottle in these side pouches kind of limits the amount of stuff you can put in here. So this guy's a little bit slimmer so I can get more stuff on this side. So I have an organizational wing in here that I have uh, JBL, again, just Ross, but these things were like, I don't know, $50 head earbuds that I got for like $10 um, there. Then I got, you know, my wall plug, I think this is, yeah, 140 gig thumb drive. It's always important to have. Um, Olight, totally love this freaking headlamp. Like $15 to $18. Uh, two AAA powered batteries. I have spare AAA powered batteries in here as well. And uh, runs for quite a while. And I have several of them. Very, very reliable and very inexpensive. Lightweight. And it's important to have hands-free um, illumination, I believe in your EDC system and in your EDC bag that goes with you most places, uh, just because if you're doing, you know, construction work, if you're having to work on your vehicle, broken down somewhere, hiking, trekking, whatever, um, you may need both your hands. So this is a great option. Then underneath that, I've got my charging cables. Now this is normally the one that I will take with me. This is an anchor. I can't remember the model number. Um, this is, uh, 10, 10,400, and that's the milliamps that this is gonna take. Um, I, I love Anchor battery packs. I probably have 15 of them around the house, all different sizes. This one I take because I can get about six charges on my iPhone 6 out of this, and I can get one full charge on my um, iPad Air or Air 2. I can't remember which one I have, but anyway, so it will fully charge that once as well. This thing is awesome, about $30 if I remember. Uh, if you don't have a lot of charging needs or you know you just need to maybe get like two charges a great option i think these are like 17 dollars is their candy bar size i think yeah vanquest gear great guys sent this over to me um this particular one this one is 6700 milliamps uh, so this one i think will do my iphone two times and it'll get, give about half a charge to my ipad this thing is a little bit cheaper about half a little bit over half the price um, and is uh, a little bit more compact depending on the size of your EDC system. So this is another backup option, but Anchor is my go-to for battery packs. So I'm gonna take a quick second here to kind of deviate uh, through the EDC system. This is not necessarily part of my EDC system, but it kind of is, because I've literally been taking this to the office every day since I bought it. This is the Stanley Coffee Press. This is you know, from the Stanley Company that we know since 1913, been cranking out stuff. Um, I have to say that they have a phenomenal warranty. Uh, this lid got damaged, and I'm gonna do the full review on this thing coming very soon. Um, but uh, I damaged this, my, totally my fault, dropped it off the car, the roof of the car, broke some of the plastic on it, contacted them, less than a week, they got me a brand new thermos. So, I mean, this, they are awesome. But uh, what this offers me is not only a 16 ounce thermos that works really well, keeps your be warm beverages warm, cold beverages cold, <laughs> but has a two um, lidded system in the sense that here's your pouring system. You drink out of this guy and or hold on because this is a coffee press because I love French press guys. I don't do a coffee uh, maker. Sorry, not going to happen. Uh, I love my coffee too much. I do French press. Um, or I will do AeroPress or pour overs. Those are like the three ways that I, if I have a choice, I will do it. So this is a French press inside a thermos. This thing right here acts as your press. You can see there, used from today. You put your grounds in there, boiling hot water, four minutes, depress this thing down, put your lid on, head out the door. So you're getting two cups of coffee out of this thing. Realistically with the grounds, probably more like 15 to eight, or sorry, 15 to 14 ounces, but still good amount of coffee keeps it warm for literally hours, and you're getting that French press quality, about $22, Walmart or Amazon, links below, totally love this thing, and a great part of my system for those coffee lovers out there. 
Would I say it's part of the actual EDC system? Probably not, but it's very close. And continuing the beverage talk, you've seen this before. Uh, this is nothing new to the channel. The Camelback Chute in the their insulated, vacuum insulated uh, version here. This is about $27, $25, depending on who, what, when, where, why. I believe it's a 27 ounce version here. Um, and is perfect. I love the lid on this thing because it's a good pour spout. You know, it's not like an algae and this is gonna go splashing all over your face. Uh, the lid thing clicks in like that. And then of course you just take the whole thing off to fill it up with whatever you're doing. Keeps your cold beverages cold all summer long. Really like that aspect. And you can, you could use it as a thermos as well. It will absolutely do like coffee for hours on end as well, which is a good plus, you know, if you don't wanna do the, the you have coffee at your work or whatever, um, totally dig that. Uh, this is, it's a 20 ouncer, my bad, sorry, not 27, 20 ouncer. Uh, I like that it's got this kind of traction here, lots of different color combinations. And I like that it's slimmer so that I can fit it inside, again, the pack that I was having some issues. It takes up too much space if you do 32 ounce Nalgene's and you can't utilize all of the, the inter internal pocket on this. And a lot of EDC backpacks in general are kind of like this. And you, you know, it's around town. It's EDC, this isn't like survival, and we're not talking about you know camping and hiking where you want lots of water. Uh, usually you have plenty of water laying around in those type of areas, and uh, this is just better, so you don't have this huge heavy water bottle slogging around on your back while you're going from meeting to meeting. Finally, on this wing here, because this is using the water bottle, I don't need to take as much space. The two things that I keep in here are Cottonelle butt wipes. The worst thing in the world is when their toilet paper runs out or it's like, um, you know, the toilet paper is like John Wayne. It's rough and tumble and won't take crap off anyone. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that's where I always make sure I have some of those. And then I take carry a little Sheffield box cutter, ultra lightweight, fantastic little box cutter. Just throw it in there. It's like, I don't know, $3 I think is what I paid at Walmart. Uh, it's a little bit more on Amazon. Good little box cutter there. It's great for people who you don't really wanna trust with your high-end $200 knife you just bought. And they're like, hey, could I borrow your knife? You can just give them this and they can still get whatever job they needed done. And if they trash it, replace the blade. And if they literally break it, it was $3. So um, it's a good little backup for that. Or you just have lots and lots of box cutting you gotta do um, or something like that. Some sort of job that requires a lot of cutting that you don't wanna jack up your expensive blade. Um, and uh, that just gives you another cutting tool option for next to nothing and won't take up any space or weight in your gear. So open this bad boy up. I like the clamshell if need be, or the only partial if need be. Lots of stuff to go through in here with you. Um, you know, here's the Bible promises, my Bible. Got to have those two in there. And I love the layout so that I can put those two down here. If I have to, I can put my iPad full size, the keypad, I mean the whole nine yards in on top of that if I had to. And then I can slide my full size laptop in there if need be. And I have had to do that recently with uh, some changing with my job stuff and all of that um, that I do my normal nine to five job. So uh, that's why I carry this slightly larger bag over the Vertex EDC Ready bag. If you don't have to carry a laptop, that bag would probably be the better choice for you. A little bit cheaper, a little bit smaller um, and similar layout. But uh, then I can easily put my laptop in there. This thing has a nice you know, uh, padded bottom, will fit all that type of stuff. Then we have this nice mesh pocket right here. Got a few energy bars, you know, high protein, emergency, different stuff like that in there to just help give me the energy if I needed to get home. Kleenex. This is fun. Um, I have here, this was from my wife's work, but this is like a JBL little Bluetooth uh, speaker. Really lightweight, pretty inexpensive. There are a few options out there. Uh, I do this just because um, I, when I'm at work, a lot of times I will listen to either sermons um, and, you know, and you need to get fed that way, you know, particularly when you're in ministry and doing that type of stuff. So a lot of times when I'm just doing busy work, you know, getting ready for Sundays and different things like that, I'll listen to YouTube me messages or, you know, YouTube videos or that type of thing. Or if I'm doing di just different stuff, it's nice to have there, you know, if I just want to listen to some music while I'm working and I don't want to, you know, plug in my phone and do it all that way, or I'm doing it with, you know, I'm working with some people. It's nice just to have this as an option, hook it up to the Bluetooth, to my um, iPad and do it that way. So I do carry a little music box Bluetooth speaker. Then on this end, we got two more mesh pockets. On the lower one, I not only carry the belly strap, but sternum strap. So if I did need to totally trek out somewhere, you know, I was with buddies or something and we we're doing a trip, day trip, and I wasn't planning on hiking, but you know, we got stuck, whatever, you know, 
end of the world, apocalypse, whatever. Uh, I, I can totally attach those to this bag, cinch it down, really keep it tight on my body. I don't do that when I'm just EDCing around town. Um, and then I do have an ADD uh, tactical. I don't even know if they're, I think they're still around, um, leather wallet that acts as a strop, which is totally cool. Totally dig that. And then I do have some DMT, I believe, uh, or just die sharp. There we go. Um, two different stones, both fine and coarse credit card size that fit perfectly inside the wallet. So I can easily work out lots of different, you know, edge problems with lots of tools. And then I do have a pocket UST, um, knot card. So I can do, you know, paracord knots with my paracord bracelet. This is about 25 feet. Uh, maybe, maybe it's 20 feet, 20 feet of paracord on there, but I have lots of different knot, um, um, stuff there. So depending on what I needed to do, cinch down stuff. And that's been useful just for, you know, tying down gear and different things like that. So this is how I resharpen stuff as well as do all that. Then I have at least $50 of cash in here at all times, just making sure that I always have the cash to not only sometimes I use it to bless people, you know, I run into somebody in the parking lot and, you know, just feel the need to do that, talk to them, pray for them and, you know, do that type of thing, bless them that way, or just have that ca emergency cash in case the credit card, you know, gets canceled or something. And I, was right in the middle of buying something or, you know, paying for lunch or whatever, um, that I have that or, you know, run out of gas and, and I have at least enough for a tank of gas in there. Then we got our mechanics, uh, semi leather gloves here. Totally dig these really, really good. Um, these will give me a lot of options that you've used these, you know, for moving stuff, uh, working on vehicles, different things like that. It's always good to have a pair of good, strong gloves. So those are attached in there. And then I just have right in the rain notepad. Uh, it's always important to have that in case all of your digital stuff dies. You can still write notes, take notes on different things, leave notes for people. Very important to have that. And then I just have some different writing utensils over here, Sharpies and pens, and then a good Tide pen for stains and messes and that type of thing. Finally, on the very back panel here, what's nice with these Vertex bags is they have this huge panel of Velcro and they have some zippers that will go the entire length. So righties, lefties, totally ambidextrous. You can fit a ballistic plate in here. So those of you who would be concerned about um, you know, getting into a, some situation like that, you want that extra safety of having a, a ballistic plate you can get custom cut ones that will fit inside right here with the zipper. Um, and so what I do here now, I do not carry my pistol in here um, unless of some very strange, odd reason. I always carry it on body. That's just the way I roll. It is much in my mind, more secure. You know where it is. I don't like carrying it in my backpack. The only reason that I have the, the uh, holster here is just in case Let's say I'm riding with my buddy for the day. I have to, you know, I had a package with me. I need to drop it off at the post office or something. I can't go into the post office with my firearm. So I take it out, can put it in here, you know, and leave the bag in the car with my buddy while he's letting the motor run, run in real fast, come right back out, put it back in my belt. So that's the only reason really that I would keep my firearm in here or a situation similar to that. But I do carry a spare mag for my Glock 19. Well, folks, there you have it. I hope this video has helped you out and helped you maybe make some decisions, tweak some things, maybe some ideas that you didn't have before for your EDC system, the, the stuff that you take with you every day when you head out to enjoy life and to best stay equipped and stay prepared for whatever life throws your way. That's what I always wanna do here with these videos and help you guys out. So again, all the links below for all the stuff we talked about today. So if there's anything in particular, just hop on over there. Not only does it makes it easy for you to find the stuff, but it also helps me to continue to make videos just like this. And if you're not a regular subscriber here at Gideon's Tactical, I'd invite you to become part of the GT family. We're throwing up videos every single week, giving you guys content, reviews, topics, ideas, so that you guys can better enjoy your life and have that, that safety and security of knowing that you're prepared and giving you guys um, good data points when you are throwing down your hard-earned money on whatever piece of gear or idea that you may be pursuing. So I wanna thank you guys, you regular subscribers, you are awesome. And if you're joining us, I, I encourage you to make Gideon's Tactical part of your regular YouTube experience. Check us out on all the relevant social media as well. We're throwing up content on there as well, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, lots of other social media um, platforms as well. So links are in the description below as well for all those. And finally, folks, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.